Hello everyone, and today I want to show you the most exciting thing about Cypress version 12 that just came out. So I have a test that fails. The test visits the page, finds all the matching elements with class matching, so that probably would be these elements, and then gets the text from each element and tries to confirm that the text is first, third, and fourth. And I can clearly see first, third, and fourth right here. Why does it fail? Because the page is not static. And what happens at first it shows a couple elements and then adds the rest. Cypress fails to find the rest. What happens right here, Cypress finds the two original matching elements, calls Cypress then, gets the text and tries to confirm that the text is equal to this expected array. Unfortunately, that fails. Because when you get two elements and call Cyan, that's it, you're done. Only what you get after that is compared. Cypress never retries getting the matching elements again from the page, getting the inside text and then comparing. So even though after one second the last element is added that should have been there, Cypress only retries the assertion. Cypress has a rule that it only retries the last command and assertion and some commands like Savannah are never retried because they probably change the state of application. You can retry site get but not site click. So here's what Cypress version 12 adds. It adds a new type of command. So think of get. Get is a query command. Think of click or then. Well, those commands are not queries. They can change things. So now you can explicitly say, um, I want to add a command that's a query. So we'll add a custom command and notice add query and we'll add a command map. So the first argument in our case will be, you know, function or prop, for example. And now you can return a function, but now we'll receive the actual elements and I will just Use whatever we use here to iterate over the elements and we'll say function or prop. Okay. Now, right now it hasn't changed anything, but we can remove this and instead of say then get text, we can say, okay, map and get the inner text from each element. So we're going to use our query custom command and look what happens now. Notice how the test actually retries for a second. And the assertion shows first just the two elements and then all three. So Cypress now knows how to connect the whole chain of querying commands. It knows this is a query, this is a query, this is an assertion. And if assertion fails, it goes back to the start of a chain and rerun both queries. So it will go back from an assertion all the way through the querying command until it can reach the start of a uh, chain or has a command that's not a query. So this is pretty powerful. 